<sighs> Shout out to y'all, man. What's up? It's Lost in Seattle. We're going to take a little video to talk about the black father speaks out against a New York trooper after 11 year old daughter dies in traffic stop. You know what happened during this? So I heard about this through an uh, uh, employee at work. She was telling me how there was a uh, there was a black family that was driving and they were pulled over and how uh, the cops pretty much was harassing mm -hmm. the man and his family. Yeah. And, you know, he he was he himself was trying to talk the officer down. He was like, well, you know, just give me the ticket. Yeah. And the officer was like, I'm not giving you I no want you to get out of the car. I want you to get out of the car. I'm mm -hmm. not giving you no ticket. And then um, he then uh, asked for the supervisor. Yeah. He would not call for the supervisor. So at that point, having his wife and his daughter in the car, yeah, he did the best thing he get away thought from was him. best was to, get you know, get him. away from him. But in the end, that ended up being tragic because uh, the, the officer reared him and the little girl, uh, she ended up dying. It's, it's, so it's she, a really sad story. Yeah. So Tristan Good says the state trooper rammed the back of his car, causing an accident that killed his daughter. So I'm guessing he rammed him and he veered off and maybe he hit something and his daughter ended up. She ended up, yeah, flying. Passing, yeah, passing yeah. away. So, so, and then, okay. Um, so we know we're going to have the uh, pro cops making the argument that he shouldn't have left the scene. He shouldn't have left the scene. And he calls his own daughter's death. Which is completely But we harsh. know this is, this is blamed. This is 100% blamed on the officer. Yeah, we try to give both perspectives. We try to look at everything from a three dimensional and try to uh, get the whole. <laughs> Listen, idea of what's going on the, i don't think you can blame this on the father here the officer's officer's job is to come in and defuse the situation and because supposedly the officers are always just trying to make it home safely but clearly he wasn't trying to just make it home safely to, he was trying to escalate the situation yeah which is majority of the time what they do well this is also as you probably saw an article that i put up they you got people that's you know activists that are blaming this on over policing uh i, I don't understand how as an officer you pull someone over it's nothing really crazy they did i don't know why he was pulled over you know uh i'm, I'm not quite sure why he was pulled over i think it was just a, a a normal uh traffic uh stop they have you know sometimes they just have random uh traffic stops i think that's what was going on so uh right here it says that he was pulled over because they say he was speeding okay so you see Goods, who is black, was traveling with his wife, April, and two daughters, 11-year-old Monica and 12-year-old Christina, on I-87 Upstate three days before Christmas when Baldner pulled him over, pulled them over. He was screaming at me, you were going 100 miles per hour and you shook my car, Goods recalled on the Daily News. I said, the tractor trailer in front of me shook your car. He continued, I have my hands on the steering wheel. I didn't get out of my car. I was no threat to him. I asked for a supervisor. Good said the trooper asked if there were any guns or drugs in the car. My wife says she was tired and he said, I don't give a shit if you're tired, he recounted. The 39 year old said Balner returned to his police cruiser and when he came back to the car, he flooded the vehicle with pepper spray. Goods added that the trooper was well aware that the two young daughters were in the car. He didn't warn us he was going to use pepper spray. Goods recall. He didn't say get out of the car or did you're under arrest praying for his family's safety good said he instinctively drove away i didn't know what was going to do what I, what he was going to do next he explained i was like holy shit this guy's going to kill me now it is reports that barn to pursue the family and rammed the back of the car in this cruiser eight seconds later he took the back of the car i'm sorry eight seconds later he he hit the back of the car a second time it was then that the goods suv hit a guardrail and flipped over ejecting monica outside of the car the 11 year old reportedly died at the scene so the so he didn't give a damn about that eleven year old being in the car. No, the eleven or twelve year old or the wife. He pepper sprayed the car, and he's like, "What the hell, you?" So he took off like this dude's crazy, and he rammed them twice. And the second time, he hit a guardrail like I thought most likely most likely happened, and it led to um, the daughter being pushed out of the car. This was, as they would call it, a race soldier. Yeah, so. You know, and that's not even the only case. That was in uh, New York. Now, there's another case in New York that's going on. There are two lawmakers that are suing the NYPD. They said they were beaten with bicycles at the protest. Now, they said they was at a protest for Black Lives Matter last year. Now, both of these cases happened in 2020. They said they was at a protest last year and the police officers were riding 
and they came up behind them and was ramming their bikes into them now i saw a video well, i actually posted a video with some police brutality clips and the police are known for doing that they'll get on their bikes and ride and act like you're in the way by ramming into you and say that you're causing them to crash and then they pull you then you know pull you over and try to arrest you and detain you and stuff so this is not surprising unfortunately when they did it to these two people they didn't know they were lawmakers until after they had already cuffed them and put them in zip ties and that's how they found out oh these are lawmakers let them go but now they're suing them what's going on in new york <laughs> remember that video <laughs> of the new york police department uh the uh what they call them is it a sergeant not a sergeant jesus what's the lead officer name commissioner something like that i can't remember the name remember that video he put out the white guy in new york <laughs> And he was ranting against civilians saying how we're good people not all of us are bad and all that stuff and then you got your officer doing stuff like this stop treating us like animals and thugs and start treating us with some respect they ramming people with bikes they ramming cars with families in them killing little girls and it was a, it was the best thing for them to not even mention that they were any type of uh lawmaker lawmaker so that they can get the yeah. whole experience yep and then they could get his ass later and the bad part is for them at least they're both black yeah <laughs> that was that's the part that's gonna kill them so these two black lawmakers you treated them like regular regular niggas well they is regular niggas <laughs> well, they're regular niggas with a little little bit of power and not looking you, getting sued so i mean i'm hopefully when we go back to the case with the um uh, uh tristy tristy good um, I'm sorry, Tristan Good. Hopefully, he gets justice for his daughter. How did this happen, December 22nd? And yeah, it's now cases, June. Yeah, these cases always happen. Like they happened a year ago, six months ago, and then we find out about it in the media. So, but he finally was able to speak out and get some attention to it. Hopefully, he's able to get. I don't even know what justice would be. I mean, uh, the officer being locked up. How long? <laughs> Is it, it's 22 years. That's a death. He that's that's murder. He caused a death. And it was on purpose because he ran the car. It was on purpose. So that's murder. That's not even manslaughter. That's murder. I don't know. You, you know, <laughs> murder you have to prove that he meant to kill the girl, kill somebody in the car. He was trying to, at, his justification is going to be, he was trying to stop the car. So manslaughter more than likely. The man asked you just to give him a damn. Uh, Supervisor. No, before that, he asked him to just give him a traffic ticket. Yep. Y you know, they make it so difficult that it makes you. It makes you want to, you know, why even have police? That's why people say, why even have police That's when police had, act like this? You had that defund the police thing going on. So your job is to supposedly what you say is get Check. home safely. But Check. you were trying to escalate something and start something. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess he had a little power trip. Uh, he wanted to prove that this man was speeding. Even though the man said I wasn't speeding. That was a trailer in front of me that made your car shake. Not the speed of my car. The wind from my car didn't make your car shake. And because you had to get him so bad, you ended up killing his daughter. Killing his daughter. I don't even know how he. I don't even know. I you know. I, I, I can't know. say what I really want to say on YouTube. I don't know how the police officer is still walking around. Like in that moment, I'm surprised. Maybe he, maybe he had nothing to quote defend himself. But at that moment, when I look at my daughter on the ground and you standing there, it would have been like. And what did he say? One of us ain't making it out of here. What, what do you? What did he say in that uh, situation? Get oh, down. it's your fault. Probably get down. Get, probably said get down, arrest him, put him in cuffs, put him in the back of the car, drove him to the station, and he had to. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, that's a tragic place story coming for y'all. Yeah, tragic story. Hopefully, he gets justice. Um, New York, man, <laughs> y'all killing little girls in car traces and running, <laughs> running over lawmakers with bicycles. Can't mm -hmm. make this shit up. But anyway, man, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All praise to the Most High and peace.